Hello, this is Mark Rossner. I'm a technical marketing engineer in Cisco's Computing Systems Product Group, and we're looking at the SIMC configuration for SAN boot on C-Series standalone, and specifically uh, booting where the adapter is FCOE on the Cisco Virtual Interface card. Because for that card, you have to configure the boot settings only through the SIMC. It's only out of band. Just to point out, successful SAN OS install doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have the boot config correct. So here we're going to learn how to do the boot config correct first and assume that you're doing that first before the SAN OS install so that when you're done with the install, you'll be able to boot off your boot device directly into your OS. So here I am logging into the Cisco GUI interface. What I want to look at is the inventory section and specifically the Cisco VIC adapters. In my example, there's one Cisco VIC adapter. This particular VIC is in the MLAM modular LAN on motherboard slot. We're going to have to remember that for later when we set up the boot order. Let's go down and look at the VHBAs for the VIC. By default, there's one VHBA for each port, one on uplink 0 and one on uplink 1. The only property we're going to have to look at is this boot property, which right now, for example, for port 0 says disabled. So as I set the properties for this VHBA, the only thing I need to check off is FC SAN boot. Eventually, when I got multipathing going, I do the other FC1 similarly. Let me look at the boot table, and what I need to enter is the worldwide port name of the storage array and the LUN number of the storage array that I'm going to be booting off of. Where do I get that? In this simple example, I'm going to say, OK, well, the storage administrator had to provide it for me. There's the worldwide port number and the LUN ID as set up on the storage array 0, and I could just paste that in from some email or something like that. In this example, I'm adding just one boot entry on one port. The idea here is that both in the SIMC setup and when we do the OS install, we're going to concentrate on just having one path to the LUN, and then we'll set up multi-pathing later. We'll talk about that more in the OS install. In the BIOS area, a couple of things. One, BIOS parameters, and there's just a couple of things to look at here. So I want to go to the Advanced tab and scroll way near the bottom where there's a couple of settings we need to look at. The first one as shown is this All PCIe Slots Option ROM has to be enabled, so you need to check that. If it's not enabled, you can't do any LAN or SAN boot off any slot. Second one, option ROM enabled for the specific slot, MLOM in this example. You might want to have it disabled in other slots. So that was already correct, but if you had to change it, you'd have to change it. Finally, do the configured boot order. In this example, I have nothing in the configured boot order. I'm going to add SAN boot. This name is just a logical name for you that will show up in the configuration. You could name it anything you want. And then I have to know the slot, once again, that I'm doing SAN boot off MLOM. The LUN seems redundant here because I already put it in the boot target information. But there you go. I need to save this form, and then I can close it. Now I see the configured boot order includes my SAN boot Linux. The actual boot order isn't actually affected until after I reset the machine. So let's assume that I power off and power on the machine or reset it. At that time, if I'm configured correctly, I need to be able to see my LUN. And there you can see my LUN in a promise storage array. If you don't see the LUN in the actual boot order, then we've either done something wrong here in the SIMC config, or there's something wrong in the plumbing between the server and the actual LUN. Remember, you could have done absolutely none of this and still be able to install on a SAN LUN, but if, unless you've done this part correctly, you wouldn't be able to boot off of it. 
thank you for watching.